Hey everyone and welcome back to Stiff Upper Lens. I'm Scott and today I'm going to show you how this little dongle can add raw transfer via Wi-Fi to any Canon or Nikon DSLR. So this is the Case Air Remote. This is a little dongle that sits on the top of your camera or can hang down by the side. And what it does is it communicates with your camera and then sends all of your details out via Wi-Fi. What this means is you can remotely control the camera, you can get a live view display, you can remotely start and stop video. And most importantly for me now with the firmware update is that you can add raw wireless transfer to your tablet or smartphone via this dongle. What that means is when you're out in the field, you can just wirelessly transfer a picture to your iPad, your iPhone, your Google Pixel, whatever device you use, and you can edit right there in the app in something like Snapseed or Lightroom Mobile and you're retaining all of that raw information that you want. Now historically, particularly with my Sony a7 II, I have Wi-Fi transferred to my phone but it's JPEG only. There's all that dynamic range involved in the shot and perhaps there's loads of highlights or details in the shadows that are going to get clipped with a JPEG. With a raw file, there's going to be all that information there. Snapseed and Lightroom Mobile now support the vast majority of RAW files from pretty much any camera. So this is really, really great. Now historically I've been plugging in an SD card reader into my iPad Air 2. The problem with that is, is it's USB 2 speeds, it's really quite slow, particularly for image preview. Now this app isn't the best app in the world, there are some bugs with it, it's not phenomenal. However, it certainly is functional enough to get a RAW file off of your camera wirelessly. The option to be able to compose via live view with your tablet, to be able to shoot remotely with that tablet on pretty much any DSLR. So if, for example, you've got a 100D, you've got a 550D, you've got a, you've got a Nikon D7100, you've got a Nikon D5200, these cameras don't have Wi-Fi inbuilt, but with this little device, they can have that inbuilt, and that's really helpful. Particularly, I'm using the 5D Mark III, and that's a camera that does not have Wi-Fi. It's a last-generation camera. I don't really want to update it. I like the quality. I don't have £3,000 to spend on a 5D Mark IV. So having that Wi-Fi available is really great. Now, there are other options of adding Wi-Fi to your camera, but one that works with several different cameras and has all the features that this has, including the raw transfer, this does make it a good option. This is available for about £170 and around about the same price in dollars from Tether Tools. But hey, you got a 550D, you got a Nikon D7000, you want to add Wi-Fi, you, the camera's perfectly fine, you just like to be able to get your raw pictures off it while you're on the go. This is a really great option. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up subscribe for more tips tricks and reviews coming from me and from joe who has joined us recently and i'm excited to see what content he brings to the channel thanks a lot for watching see you later guys goodbye